Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. It is Fortnite Friday, and of course, we won't be forgetting to put a video out this week. I realize I missed last week's build. It was not for a lack of trying. I had a few delays, I had a few failures, and I wanted to put something out that wasn't half done. So, that is for the delay. Thank you for those of you who are understanding and supportive and, and left me awesome feedback. For those of you who are hateful, bitter, nasty trolls about it, forget you. Um, but I've been asked by a lot of people recently to build the Marshmallow Helmet because of his debut into Fortnite. Um, I also had a couple of my students at school asking me if I would build it. Um, Mr. Bailey, which goes by BioTV, um, he has an awesome channel with a bunch of different things. He's an extremely talented young guy. Check his channel out. Um, has been asking for this for literally over a year and I am going to finally answer your pleas. I know there are several people who have already made this particular prop. Um, they have different ways that they've made it. I'm taking a different approach. We are going to attempt to make Marshmallow Helmet. Let's get to building. Wow. 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 
Here is the end result. Overall, pretty pleased with the way it turned out. I chose to put a little bit fancier LEDs in here. Mine pulsate to sound, so you can kind of get that DJ vibe there. Um, they were a lot more expensive than the normal LED lights, so you could definitely save costs there. I have well over $100 worth of electronics just in this prop, uh, so take that for what it's worth. You could definitely make this a lot cheaper using just the bucket or making it out of foam like several of the other people that I've seen make this particular build. Um, Alexa, turn studio lights on. I had a few setbacks. I didn't cut the bucket on the inside small enough so I had to make an extra slit to fit it in. Um, I gouged a little bit of the plastic up here at the top when I was sanding. I didn't paint this at all. It's just sanded bucket. Um, so. You could make this shiny and reflective like the actual surface on the actual one, but um, I don't think it's too bad. It's kind of a matte finish. Maybe you'll try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your marshmallow head making skills so much so, so that they invite you and Mr. Graham Cracker and Chocolate Bar to a bonfire. Just kidding. Maybe you'll get some... And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? 
you can give them one of these, tell them much props.